www.ghoststrategy.com. Hi, this is Chris again, taking a look at the upcoming October 28th trading session. Uh, as you can see, as per usual, I have the economic announcements in front of you. Really nothing going on initially until we get to core durable goods orders month over month. Expected to be 0.5% out of the United States. And then perhaps consumer confidence for October coming out at 87. Both of those numbers are going to move the U.S. stock markets perhaps the U.S. dollar, but really at the end of the day, it's going to be a very U.S.-centric session because the rest of the day is just so quiet, really not a whole lot of high-impact announcements. Looking at the British pound, you can see that we have risen against the U.S. dollar. Uh, for uh, my interest, I believe that 162, if we can get above there, that is a call buying opportunity, probably to about 164 or so. Um, depending on your time frame, you may want to aim for less, obviously, but really we think uh, that this is a bottoming process that we are still trying to break out of. Looking at the euro, kind of a similar situation, except I expect resistance to come back into play. Uh, there is a little bit of a bearish flag here, so we might have a little bit of room before we run into um, some resistance. So I'm looking for a resistive candle between here and 1.28 to begin calling, calling puts yet again. I believe that the downtrend is still intact. I have no interest in buying calls until we get above 130, which would be a significant momentum shift so uh, it's either buy puts or sit on the sidelines right now I'm on the sidelines but I am looking to buy puts a little bit higher looking at the S&P 500 we've had a slightly negative session finding our footing a little bit later in the day in America but uh, really this is a call buying opportunity not a put buying opportunity we would like to see a breakout a little bit higher in order to do so or maybe a pullback that shows signs of support on a shorter time chart uh, really no interest in buying puts. Calls should be purchased until we go to about 2,000, which is what we have for a target going forward. And finally, silver markets, very quiet. Precious metals in general, pretty quiet during the session on Monday. I anticipate that 17 to 1750 will continue to be the range. Uh, really, at this point in time, we'd like to see a little bit of a bounce in order to buy puts for short-term trades only. And with that, I've taken a look at the upcoming Tuesday, October 28th trading session.